Hello, this is the third video regarding teeth arrangement. After the anterior teeth arrangement is completed satisfactorily, we can proceed to arrange maxillary posterior teeth. While proceeding with maxillary teeth arrangement, please make sure about the following. The arch form has to be maintained. Posterior teeth has to be set on the center of the ridge. To achieve this, you begin by drawing a guideline on the center of lower occlusal rim. Connect the tip of the canine to the reference line drawn on the cast. 0.5 to 1 mm of wax buckle to this line is removed. Watch ahead to understand the purpose of this line. Now we are ready to begin with arranging maxillary posterior teeth. Let's see the guidelines for arranging maxillary first and second premolars. Both maxillary first and second premolar are set in such a way that the long axis of these teeth are straight when viewed from the front as well as side. But do note the difference in occlusal plane or glass plate relation. Only the buccal cusp of maxillary first premolar touches the glass plate, whereas both buccal as well as palatal cusp of the second premolar is in contact with the glass plate. Gently close the articulator and make sure that the palatal cusp of the premolars coincides with the reference lines drawn on the lower occlusal rim. This will ensure us that we are setting the teeth on the center of the ridge. Moving on to maxillary first molar. Soften the wax and arrange the maxillary first molar in such a way that the long axis of the tooth is inclined distally when viewed from the buccal aspect. When viewed from the side, give the tooth a buccal tilt. Giving the tooth a buccal tilt brings down the palatal cusp closer to the glass plate. While checking glass plate relation, make sure only the mesiopalatal cusp comes in contact with the glass plate. The articulator is closed and make sure that the palatal cusp of the maxillary first molar approximates the reference line we have drawn on the lower occlusal rim. After sealing the wax around the first molar, we can proceed to the next tooth. The maxillary second molar is set in the same inclinations as that of the first molar. The difference lies in the glass plate relation. While checking glass plate relation, none of the cusps of maxillary second molar touches the glass plate, but make sure that the mesiopalatal cusp is closest to the glass plate. This will automatically come true if your inclinations are set correctly. Also, you can turn and check the occlusion from the palatal aspect for a better view. Close the articulator and make sure that the palatal cusp of second molar are approximating the reference line we have drawn on the lower occlusal rim. As said earlier, this will ensure that the arch form is maintained and both our maxillary and mandibular posterior teeth will be centered on the ridge. Moving on to lateral glass plate relation. In this picture, you can see that the cusp tip of the canine, the buccal cusp tip of first premolar, second premolar, and the mesiobuccal cusp of first molar touches the glass plate when viewed laterally. The second plane is formed by the distobuccal cusp of maxillary first molar and the buccal cusp of second molar. Yes, uh, I understand there are quite a few things to verify while doing maxillary posterior teeth arrangement and these can be a little bit overwhelming if you are new to it. But no worries, understand the concepts and principles and with a little bit of practice, the job will definitely get done. Thank you.